Hey guys, it's Ross and uh, welcome to my channel and I want to give you guys a little bit of tips. I have two tips I want to talk to you about how to get larger figs. There's two things you can do. Um, but before I get into that, there's a thing called genetics and um, without the right genetics, you're not going to get large figs. You're just not. It's, it's like me, you know, I'm, uh, I'm a short guy, I'm 5'7", so in order for me to, have, to be someone that's like over six feet tall, I need to have genetics that's even going to allow me to get to that point, right? It's, uh, it's impossible. Even with proper nutrition throughout my entire life, there's a limit as to how tall or how wide I could possibly be, right? Just like with human beings, it's just uh, it's a thing, right? So it's the same thing with the fig. Without the right genetics, you're not going to get figs the size of a tennis ball. I'm sorry, it's just not going to happen. So for those of you guys who are ripening your figs right now, and you're watching this video, it's it's uh, August, it's September. You know, this is probably the time most of you are getting your figs now, and you're looking at your fig and you're like, ah, oh, I wish it was larger. Well, sorry. You, you probably don't have a variety that uh, is going to get large, uh, especially if you got this fig tree from your grandfather, right? This is your grandfather's fig tree they brought over from Italy or, you know, they brought it over from Croatia or Greece or some other foreign country, brought it here to the United States. The chances are it's never going to be a fig that can reach tennis ball size. There's only really a handful of maybe 20 varieties in in thousands 20 varieties and thousands of varieties that can even reach that size okay so we're talking about like figs that can get over a hundred grams a hundred grams is about the size of a tennis ball so you need to find yourself a variety that will even do that brown turkey is probably the most common variety that will do that it goes by many many names um, you know Blackjack is a common one that probably those of you in California, for whatever reason, love this fig. It's the worst fig in probably existence. <laughs> I saw, I, I love the guy. His is Dan from PlantAbundance.com. He has a YouTube channel as well. I watch a lot of his videos. I love the guy. He's such a cool guy. He's got a nice backyard. I love his wife. He did a video on getting figs the size of a tennis ball. First off, the tennis ball wasn't even a full-size tennis ball. I played tennis. I played tennis in college. That's a kid's tennis ball. It's not a full-size tennis ball. <laughs> Number one. Number two, it's brown turkey, okay? I don't care how big your brown turkey is, it doesn't taste good. In fact, most figs that are large lose flavor. Uh, it's just some weird genetic thing that happens with figs that usually the larger they are, and this doesn't go for every single fig in, in existence, guys. So I don't want to put this blanket statement out there. There are some tasty large figs, but as you get tall, as you get bigger and bigger with the fig, the flavor lessens. Usually they become watery. You know they're more prone to splitting. Um, they the fig can just get a lot more problems to it. And brown turkey is without a doubt uh, probably the worst tasting fig. Um, so for me. I'm not even trying to look for large figs, but I have two tips for you guys that I've come across, and this is the total opposite of what I do. This is the exact opposite of everything that I do with production and flavor. So in previous videos, I have teach you guys, don't overwater your figs. Why? Because you lose flavor. Another thing I try to preach and try to t teach you guys is to get high production off your fig trees to get many figs off of your off your fig trees. Well, if you have fewer figs, those fewer figs are gonna be larger than if you had more figs because there's more energy that's being allocated to larger figs. Well, the other thing is true. So if I overwater my figs, they grow a lot more, the fig gets a lot bigger, it also tastes a lot worse, and that's what you end up having. So if you really want my advice, um, on how to get bigger figs, that's how you do it. But in the end, it's not really a good thing. So <laughs> I uh, hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you learned something. And this is a nice little myth that I'm going to dispel for you guys. So 
yeah, I just decided we'll put this one out there for everyone to see. If you don't believe me, try it yourself, you know? Get the same variety, get get a brown turkey in one planting and another another brown turkey right next to it. Water one of them all throughout the season and see how much bigger the figs are compared to the one right next to it. Take some figs off of one and uh, see how much larger the figs get because there's less figs. And uh, you know, the last thing I would recommend, again, just getting a variety that's genetically going to be larger. Anyway guys, thank you for watching and uh, I'll talk to you all soon. Take care.